everybody, it's Brittany at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. Good morning, Kate. Good morning, Caitlin. Good morning, Angie. Yep, it is a beautiful morning. Good morning, Noor. I just got done scrubbing my golf cart. <laughs> Super fun thing to do first thing in the morning, but it was gross. <laughs> And with private tours coming up and walking out, something that needed done. I was gonna try to check in with Keisha. Good morning, Deb. Good morning, Cynthia. But we'll start with Kali. Good morning, Stacy. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Kali, Kali. So you guys know that Kali came home early from vacation to try to help Keisha motivate her to eat a little bit more. Unfortunately, it has not worked. Hey, Robin. Hi, Becca. Good morning, Judy. Hi, Kali, babe. Good morning, Shelly. Hello, Brittany. <laughs> Hi, my girl. Hello. You've got a lot to say. Oh. It's a good girl. Mm. So he's going to try to walk over and see Keisha if she's out. Good morning, Christine. Hi, Giselle. Good morning, Kim. We're here with Kali Tiger. Hey, Roselle. So about four or five people went out to try to feed Keisha yesterday and no success until PM meds last night. I got her to eat two pounds, but it was not pretty. And she roared at me so intensely that Kali literally ran from her because <laughs> Kali was over there right behind me helping, but it did not go well. So hopefully Sharon will have better luck this morning. She goes through phases like that, but this has been a little bit, a little bit trying for the keepers. Did you already have breakfast? You got something in your mouth? Don't tell me you've got something in your mouth too. You guys know that yesterday, Medical Monday, we saw Zucari Serval in the hospital because he had a stick stuck in the top of his mouth. It was an easy removal. He woke up really quick and he was being feisty, so Afton is determined to get him back outside ASAP. Um, <laughs> he's being rowdy. And then we also saw Armani Leopard, 22-year-old female leopard, that was, um, she'd had a little bump on her forehead for quite some time. I mean, the entire time I've been a keeper, she's had that. And um, it was sent out, and hopefully we'll get results to see what it was. We are not capable of determining that type of stuff here in our on-site hospital. We send that off to a lab. Um, we also sent out uh, some blood work, I believe, too. Overall, she looked pretty good as far as like her blood work. Um, her liver looked a little strange to Dr. Justin on the x-ray. Um, but all in all, for her age, she's doing pretty good. And then we looked at her mouth and discovered she had a whole mouthful of dental problems. So the bump was removed and the teeth were all worked on as well. And she really struggled to wake up yesterday um, to the point where I couldn't take my eyes off of her. Um, and finally around seven o'clock last night, she sat up in her enclosure that's in the recovery hospital. And now she's been moving around. She's still very, very tired and loopy and out of it. But Afton said that she took her, her um, morning meds and ate some breakfast, which is a great sign. But I did not get much sleep last night because I was every few hours looking at her camera. But around 1 a.m. she started getting the most active that I had seen her. And then this morning Afton said she ate and took her meds. But I was having a real deja vu of her sister Jade because I was a yellow shirt when Jade never came back out of sedation. So I was really, really worried. Here's Jasmine. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Hi, lady. I know, Jasmine's currently in her roof section because we're doing some work out in her open air to make it all pretty and spiffy, getting her destroyed pumpkin out of there as well. Ooh. 
So walkabout is this weekend, so we are busy, busy, busy. So this won't be a super long live. Um, like I said, I just was scrubbing a golf cart. I've, I was in the hospital all day yesterday, so I have a lot of work to make up for. And I'm very excited. I'm excited to see uh, Noir on Friday for a tour. And then we've got the party happening at the Marriott. I'll only be there for a short while and it'll probably be pretty much right around six. So if any of you guys are gonna be there, I like to try to get my meet and greets done on Friday because I'm so busy on Saturday. I hate to feel rude by not stopping and talking to every single person, but as much as I'd like to, especially if I'm behind a barricade, I can't just stop and chat, so. <laughs> You're being very good. That tells me that you must have a full belly. Did you get a full belly already? So we'll keep you guys updated. Zucari will most likely go back out to his enclosure today. Um, Armani will probably stay in for another day or so. I don't have an update on when Flint is moving on to main property, but hopefully that'll happen in the next couple of days as well. Like I said, busy, busy. Well, I hear the feeding cart going the other way, so you're, you're definitely full belly tiger right now can't fool me. <laughs> so again, this is Jasmine. We just saw Kali. I gave you an update on Armani and Zucari. And thank you very much, Margaret, for the donation. And last night, I did, like I said, I did evening meds. And <laughs> both Tut and Pharaoh scared me to death. They were being pretty pukey yesterday, which is not uncommon for King Tut, but I was very worried about Pharaoh, but I checked in with him first thing this morning. He was a little pukey, and uh, Jamie went out and sat with him for a while, and I think he got it all out of his system, whatever the issue was. I want to try to check in with Keisha. As I mentioned, she hadn't really eaten in almost two days, but I got two pounds on her last night, but it was not pretty. She's probably going to hate my guts. So I really want to try to spend more time around her where I'm not offering her food of any kind. I'm just there to say hello. There's Kali again. Oh, it's very wet. <laughs> like it rained here, I think early in the morning and now the trees are just, there's Nikita in the background. Hmm. She must be in her den. She was laying out in the open. Let's see if I can find her. In the meantime, here's your morning sunrise on Tiger Lake. It's very like misty, foggy this morning. Yeah, Diane, um, Ginger's camera was moved off of Ginger and onto Armani. And it was private because we needed the vet and staff to be monitoring that. Well, she's in that den. I don't know if I'll get a good view of her though. Keesh, keesh. Can I just say hi, babe? She's like, heck no. <laughs> heck no, you, you forced me to eat yesterday. <laughs> For some reason, she's getting very upset with the long stick and she never used to be. And then she'll lay only, the only option is the long stick. All right, lady, one more view of the girl. This is Kali again. Pretty lady. So I was gonna head out and see if, I know last week everybody was wanting to see Amanda. I never got a chance to do that. Got projects going already today. Only a couple days to walk about and a ton to do. Let me get back over to my cart here. Actually, you guys wanna maybe see if Cyrus and Chaos are out and then we'll head out to Amanda and that'll probably be where we end today. If I missed any questions, I'm sorry. I know that quite a few of our moderators and our regular viewers are in their comments so hopefully they've answered otherwise I'll reach out to you when I get back to my desk and I 
again, if any of you are brand new, let us know in the comments. We love to answer your questions. Make sure you know what you're watching here. It's Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. Here, Cyrus. Hi, pumpkin. Hi, cute boy. Hi, cute boy. Hi, sir. Yeah, hi. No. I know. Yeah. Morning, Alicia. Hi, Karen. Yep, if you're just joining, we've seen Kali and Jasmine. We tried to see Keisha, but I gave you an update on Keisha, Armani, Zukari. I've given all those updates, huh? So you can rewatch, it'll post automatically on our Facebook page. It'll also go to dailybigcat.com. What are you doing? Look at that tail. So Cyrus is a caracal. He was an illegal uh, pet being bred for the illegal pet trade. And he was housed actually with Zukari and Chaos, a female caracal. Yeah. When they came here, we did spay and neuter them. And then when we put them back together, they... We're not happy. Thank you so much, Dennis, for the donation. I know. You're such a trill guy. You're such a trill guy. Everything about Cyrus makes me smile. <laughs> so I had a, like a sleepless night after a long, long day. So we gotta come see the boy. Yeah. All that rubbing that he's doing is scent marking. That's how they mark their territory. Yep, we need all the good vibes. Keisha and Armani, all of our old cats. If you're new to us, we're basically a retirement home for a lot of abandoned and abused wild cats. There's Miss Chaos. Not causing much chaos. She's very chill. It's a female caracal. They live next door to each other, but they're not together because they did get in a fight. Clearly they don't want to share space, so we're not making them share space. And again, welcome to all the new people. We really appreciate your support. And if you share these live feeds, that does help us reach new people. Hi, Kim. So all of the cats have permanent enrichment, such as like the platforms and all the toys. They've got big dens. Hi, there's your pumpkin again. He didn't really play with it much. He liked the pumpkin we gave him the first year that was carved and had a bunch of meat in it because he primarily just likes things he can eat, but. Yeah, what do you think? You're so silly. You're so silly. A very handsome guy. Okay. I know, how do I walk away? How do I walk away? He's also already had breakfast because Cyrus is one of the naughty cats. <laughs> so out of our smaller cats, um, we don't usually close uh, lockout doors. Uh, a lockout is where we feed them. So it's this extended box off of their main enclosure. So he's got all this area, the platform area behind him, both of those big dens, all the way over to chaos here. It wraps all the way around the corner back there. But their feeding lockouts is where they come to get food and fresh water and they all have doors. So if we ever need to transport them, we can close them in those. But he has to have his door closed every day because he's extremely swipey. Extremely swipey and extremely, um, like he will pretty much swat the food right back out at you. <laughs> so we want him to eat it instead of making a huge mess. So him and Zukari are actually both lockout cats for small cats. Cougars and larger, no matter the cat or their personality, they are locked out for feeding time. All right, let's head back to my cart and let's go out and see if we can catch Amanda before she settles in a den somewhere for the day. 
that'll be our last stop but again you can rewatch. you'll see several tigers you'll get a nice update about hospital cats from yesterday we may also see um, sapphire as well We saw Sapphire on Thursday when she got her pumpkin, and that was pretty silly. Morning! It's the lake again. The bridge has been all pressure washed. <laughs> I have put a lot of time in with several of the cats, so yeah, not all keepers, and almost every keeper has a cat like that, where certain cats will respond to people and others just won't. I just happen to have spent the last four and a half years deeply investing my time in a handful of them. There's about six, I would say, that will always come out for me with or without food. Here's Miss Sapphire right now. babe. You being a good girl. When she, she reminds me of Seth and the way that anytime Sapphire sees a, a person or another cat, she starts doing that chest pumping, like heavy breathing. <laughs> Even if she hasn't run or moved around at all, she just gets really excited. So this is Sapphire. She's a female white tiger. Where's your neighbor? Oh, I see her. I see her. She's out. Try to go see Amanda. So other things that might be taking place this week, I just don't know when. And if I'm, if I'm in the loop when it happens, I'll try to go live. But Zucari should be going back outside. Hopefully Flint will be moving up front onto main property. And it is cat moving week for vacations. So Natalia should be coming home and Jinx would be going out. And we already saw Kali come home on Sunday, but Duchess is the one that we're hoping to take out next. That means we'd be moving Priya over into Duchess's enclosure for the walkabout. So I can tell you all this stuff, and as you know, we're on cat time, and things change constantly, so that's the idea. That's the original plan, whether that type of thing actually happens or not. We shall see. You're a good girl. You took all your meds and ate breakfast. I know. They're still working on Flint's uh, future enclosure, which is why he hasn't moved yet because we're also updating the one right next to it for Simba Savannah. So, lots happening. So, let's go see Amanda. I'm gonna stay on this side of the barricade, though. Hi, lady. Whoa. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> they wanted to see you. I told them you'd be cranky. Be cranky pants. No, oh, I'm sorry. This is Amanda. Do you want to show them that you have ears? You do have ears. I know, babe. So Amanda um, had come here with her two brothers, all very, very aggressive. Um, over the years, though, the boys had settled down, but Amanda definitely kept her spice. Oh my! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Beautiful girl. She's 23 years old. They've got a really interesting story. They had been bred into the cub petting industry. We all know how terrible that is, unless you're a first time viewer. The cub petting industry is where breeders, backyard breeders, just breed and breed and breed cubs. They can be used for about 12 weeks at a time to pose for pictures for the public. And then after that, they're disposed of. They either become pets, parts, or props. And 
and in their case, they were at least, um, there were donors that had felt really guilty about having done that when the place shut down and wanted to find these three cubs and you can actually identify them through their markings. Each tiger's stripes um, are unique to them, so it's kind of like a thumbprint. So we were able to identify the siblings and rescue them from a facility they ended up in Texas. And she is the last one of the three. 23 years young though. Super spicy. Yeah. She has ears. She has ears. It's our sassy girl. I know. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah, so if, the, if there's one thing you'll ever learn from Big Cat Rescue, hopefully there's a lot. Hopefully all of you newbies will continue to learn with us, but cub petting is horrible. Um, they'll also end up in canned hunts, which is where hunters pay to shoot them in an enclosure to make them a trophy. I know, it's disgusting, isn't it, Amanda? People do it, though. So if there's one thing we can do is teach you that it is wrong on all accounts to pay to play with tiger cubs, lion cubs, really any exotic animal. These guys belong in the wild, not in cages. I know, babe. If they're bred and raised in captivity, though, they can never be set free. So there's never a good reason to be breeding these cats for a life in cages. I'm gonna let you go first. Hopefully she'll lay down on the platform. So cubtruth.com is a great place to learn more information. And also if you can make the call of the wild, if you're a US citizen, you need as many co-sponsors as possible. Go to bigcatact.com. I know, babe. Well, it was just breakfast time and she's got a ton of vultures around her so I keep seeing everybody compare me to Bridget <laughs> we're totally different people <laughs> and every keeper out here has different experiences I also don't sing I should probably sing to her do not sing and she knows that about me she likes the ones that'll sing to her well, there she goes let's walk back over to Sapphire Sapphire's being so calm so calm. She must have gotten a really good breakfast. And if there's anything else I'd love for any of our newcomers to learn, it's that white tigers are man-made. They are not a species of their own. It's caused through inbreeding. And unfortunately, they are all born with a variety of health defects. If they are born in the wild, normally they don't live very long. But that would be very, very rare. I know, lady. Well, thank you again to everybody who donated, everybody who answered questions for me in the comments. If you're new, make sure you go to our Facebook page and hit like. You can go and watch many, many of our videos if you become a subscriber at our two YouTube channels, dailybigcat.com and bigcattv.com. You can follow us on Instagram. That's where all my photos and videos go. There's many, many ways for you to help, but free ways to help is to use Amazon Smile. If you shop on Amazon, choose Big Cat Rescue as your charity, and 0.5% of your purchase is always donated from Amazon to the Big Cats. And then again, sharing any of our stuff helps us reach new people. So our live videos, any of our photos. I'll see many, many of you this weekend for our biggest event of the year, the Wildcat Walkabout. I think there was less than 40 some tickets left to sell out for 700 people. It's gonna be our biggest year yet. I will see whoever's gonna be at the hotel the night before, right around six o'clock for just a short period of time. I'll be able to pop in. And I look forward to seeing you guys. How peaceful is that? <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you guys. Love you guys too. I will see you guys again soon.